Oh? Me? I could save them, I'm sure. But who's going to save me? Stop it, Dollmaker. My parents would not consent to being brought back as puppets. Yinlin, I thought at least you would understand me. I don't blame you. You were too young when they passed away, after all. You hardly remember them. And that's why I couldn't revive them from your memories. Nor from my own, either. This is where you come in, Rover. You're a godsend. A gift from above. Precisely. With help from the Fraxidus, plus your body's data, I will finally create their puppets. Dollmaker, you... I was an outcast. Alone and shunned. Until my mentor and his wife took me in. They were my true family. I'll do anything to bring them back. No matter the price. So what? Why should I care? It's almost time. We'll have to leave the factory behind. But my identity must stay hidden. Use explosives to stop them if necessary, Yinlin. But our people are still inside the factory. Our people? There's only the two of us. The rest of them are not worth my concern. What about Rover? Same as before, Yinlin. Just knock her out. No need to keep him intact this time. Some level of basic consciousness is enough. The Fraxidus taught me methods to operate on a body like that. I'll leave two puppets here, to pretend we're still holding her hostage behind the closed door. We'll need the data repository, too. Yes, my research data. That's more valuable than my life. I'll take care of the data transfer. Yinlin, you deal with this person. Be quick! Here, Dollmaker, you're going nowhere. You of all people should know why the Fraxidus offered their help. Yinlin, you... how dare you betray me! I have never forgotten who I am. My bloodline is one of Junjo's patrollers. I will always uphold my duty. Just like my pa They fought to the last minute of their lives. Trying to save the innocent. Everything I've done, I did it for them! No. You did it to relive the kindness you once felt. But my parents are gone. So are everyone else's loved ones. It's time we wake up from this dream you've been spinning. No. Don't you dare! Careful. Those people don't look right. They've all overclocked. <laughs> My field of expertise. All is fair in war. Misery follows. Good. Target confirmed. 
war spares no one. Lightning has destroyed the control panel and hologram projectors. This is what the factory really looks like. This thing. The Fraxidus. You got this from them in exchange for being their pawn? Me? Their pawn? Ha! I'm the one pulling their strings, sweetheart! Dollmaker. Surrender now. How could you do this to me? I created this home for my followers. They found salvation through my puppets. I am their savior. You too, Yinlin. You had the chance to reunite with your family. Why are you doing this to me? I never met my parents. But my actions are guided by their beliefs. As a child, I bemoaned my misfortune. But I knew better than to harm others to make up for it. The dead deserve peace. My parents are gone, and I can't change the past. But the presence is mine to control. What's wrong with doing what I can for- Is that why you must deprave others of their happiness? Using them as your pawns? <laughs> Suddenly justice matters to you. Don't tell me you still think you're a patroller. I already wiped your data from their records. No one knows you were a patroller. You can't prove it to anyone now. Yes, they may never allow me back. Doesn't matter now. It's a small price to pay to stop you and the greater evil you serve. I don't need a recognized identity to do what's right. I can do it my way. You! I should get going. I'm leaving the rest to you, Rover. Please, keep it secret from the patrollers until it's all over. One day, I'll tell them everything myself. Next time we meet, I'll explain all. And I'll thank you properly, I guess. Quick, over there! Over! 
Are, are you okay? We've sent those civilians back to Jinzhou for medicals. They weren't super excited to leave for some reason. They didn't want to be separated from those puppets no matter what. There was really not much we could do about it. Oh, where's that woman who kidnapped you? <gasps> Don't tell me she's already gone! Quick, we're going after her! Ah, yeah, she's a slippery one. Unlikely we can track her down. Also, something about her seems... not so evil? No, can't make assumptions. She's still a suspect. We'll table that for now. Rover, you're a crucial witness. Please come to the Bureau for a statement when you can. I'll see you there. what the Seon Society was up to. Thanks for your statement, it really helped. Somehow the Fraxidus was involved too. Who would have thought? Luckily, you were there to stop them in time. The man's still not saying anything. Guess we'll have to keep him in custody for now. Nothing about that suspect lady either. We still have zero info on her. Oh, so the missing cases led us to an illegal cult-like organization and a bunch of other twisted plans. Unbelievable. We'd be toast without your help. Huh? And who's that? What? Come on, you need to be more specific. <sighs> well, that's it for now. Ring me up when you find something unusual again. Uh a letter without a signature. It can only lead to one thing. Yin Lin. She's waiting for me. Same as last time, she said. Must be the wolf markings. I should look around. Splendid view, right? As promised, I owe you a lot of explanation. No, I wasn't expecting to meet you. My order was to oversee our deal with the Fraxidus. You were just a pawn in my plan to find where Lorong kept the puppets. time, Dollmaker caught wind of your special abilities. He asked me to bring you to that safe house. <laughs> oh, really? I even
even upped the voltage for the best effect. Was that just a zap to you? No wonder our doll maker took so much interest in that body of yours. Unfortunately, no. He tried, but couldn't gain access. According to him, you possess a power beyond his understanding that prevented him from prying into your mind. You might be more special than you had thought. Said he couldn't read your mind without risking his own sanity, let alone retrieve any information. I can't imagine what the hell is going on beneath your skull. Who knows? Maybe you helped some strangers again only to mess with the wrong person and ended up with your memories gone. I say you should stop playing hero and take better care of yourself. You'll live longer that way. Don't think I need to, since you can handle yourself just fine. But if you ever need my help, just let me know. We have a lot in common, both alone in this world. Maybe I'll keep you in my thoughts. A reminder that I'm not the only solitary soul out there. And eventually, we'll both learn to move through our lives with loneliness. Perhaps the same loneliness was too much for Dollmaker to bear. That's why he gave up everything to resurrect my parents. Yes. After my parents' death, we all became chess pieces to him, myself included. Raised me to be a patroller for his own agenda. He needed a mole in the Public Security Bureau. In the end, I did become a patroller, but failed to stay by his side as he desired. Maybe I'm indeed a heart-wrenching betrayer to him. Yes. We all have to face the consequences of our actions. I don't plan to defend him. But if I had acted sooner, this whole mess could have been avoided. Why didn't I do something? Perhaps, like everyone else in the Seance Society, I too held on to that naive pipe dream. The dream of finally meeting my parents and having a real family. I indulged in it more than I care to admit. Deep down, I knew my dream was built upon the sacrifices of innocent lives, but I couldn't bear to shatter it. <laughs> because I met you, a total outsider risking her life for me and for all those people. A lot of it still remains unresolved. Dollmaker was merely a cog in the wheel. A bigger shadow lingers. Yes. We must stay vigilant until we expose the true culprits and destroy their plans for good. Don't tell me you're pulling out at this point. If you are, I may have to wipe my true identity from your head. By force. It was a joke. Anyway, I should thank you. Because of you, I was able to accomplish far more and save many more lives than I imagined. You feel different. I have the feeling I can always trust your words, whatever you say. <laughs> Well, take a guess. Oh, and lastly, there is another thing I should thank you for. For trusting me all the way till the very end. Until we meet again, Rover. Perhaps I'll meet you under an entirely different identity next time. <laughs>